Welcome to Eagle's Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Mary. And I'm Ashton, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, Wednesday, March 9th. <laughs> It's that time of year again. Time for Apollo's Got Talent. Auditions for this year's talent show will be Monday, March 21st. Please sign up for an audition time on Miss Ferry's door. You must sign up for an audition time before March 21st. The prize of the winner will get $50. These students are bad. Kelsey falls asleep and Corey does his homework. Kelsey texts Corey for the answers because he did it and she did not. He gets the text. He sends her the answers. This is my number one detective, Connor Dame. He'll do anything I ask him. This case is confidential and he knows what to do. He goes to question everyone, talk to everyone that he knows that may or may not be a suspect. He questions this lady, asks her where she was the night of the crime, but she doesn't know anything about it. She didn't do it. So he makes a drawing board. He puts all the pictures and places on the wall and thinks really hard about it. He might have an answer. He does. So he takes her into questioning. When she's in questioning, she's very rude. She says she doesn't know. She doesn't know anything about it. He lets her go and we'll fess up and back to the drawing board. He thinks he knows the answer. He runs to find her all over the school. She's hiding. Finally, when he finds her... The two. Okay, I did it! <laughs> she confesses. They were taken to jail. Why are you all here? Well, I'll tell you why. Because you cheated! I can't believe this! Cheating is the lowest form of anything that you could do wrong. I've got the mind. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I've got the mind to throw the book at you. I can't believe of all the low down dirty things that one can do. Makes me sick. Long story short is do your homework because you'll end up in jail. All right, good morning, students. Good morning. What a great turnout last night at the scheduling fair. Such a good turnout. Thank you, thank you for coming if you attended with your folks. Parent. Couple of things today, juniors, listen up. Today, fourth period at 1.15 and not before, you're gonna to report to the commons area and we will have the college fair that we have once a year for you. Whoop, whoop. With that, comes opportunity for you to walk around and make use of your 45 minutes to talk to college reps, ask them what you need for an ACT composite to attend their college, ask them what they need for that college to get scholarship money, uh, and get that information because today's the only time you'll have the attention in, in your face to talk to college reps. Please make good use of your time and uh, get some materials from those colleges Ask also what kind of credits transfer. Ask if you're involved in an AP course. Ask what it takes on a score, three, four, or five, and what transfers onto their campus that they would, you would not have to take as a gen ed course. So there's some great information that you can gather today from those college reps. Please make good use of your time. Again, that's 1.15 to 2 o'clock today in the lunchroom. The other thing, juniors, thank you for continuing to work, all students, to get your schedule worksheets filled out and your courses put online. The deadline is March 18th to get that done, so keep on keeping on with that. And lastly, uh, juniors, on Friday you will be going to the auditorium for a career speaker.
Uh, we've got somebody from the hospital coming in to talk about um, that avenue. So that's Friday during homeroom time. Juniors will be in the auditorium. Uh, thank you all and have a great day. If you would like to be a peer tutor for the 2016-2017 school year, applications are available in the guidance office. In addition to your application, your grades, attendance, and behavior are also taken into consideration. Stop in guidance to pick up a peer tutor application for next school year as soon as possible. The public library is hosting a coffee house for teens on Friday, March 11th from 6 to 7.30. The program is geared towards teens in 6th through 12th grades who are interested in creative writing and want to connect with other like-minded teens. You will have the opportunity to do free writing, enjoy re refreshments, and share your work in a relaxed, non-judgmental environment. Stop by the library for more information. The annual Apollo High School art competition starts today. Up to three entries will be accepted until March 25th in room 108. Entries may include drawings, painting, paintings, sculptures, photographs, and digital media. This will be a judged competition. This means only 20 entry, entries will be displayed and only one entry will receive the title of the best in the show. Entry forms are available by the door in room 109. Please see Ms. Sparks in room 108 for any questions or concerns. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we'll be having chicken nuggets, fries, spinach salad, fruit choice, and cookie. In the Global Fair line, Crispitos or pizza, garden salad, fruit choice, and cookie. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, spicy chicken wrap, barbecue rib sandwich, fries, veggies and dip, fruit choice, and cookie. In the sub and salad line, sub sandwich or chef salad, veggies dip, fruit choice, and cookie. We'd like to wish all students good luck in their co-curricular activities. Have a great day. Staff and students, Mr. Broughton couldn't be here today. He's a little busy, so here I am filling in. I just want to remind you that it's another great day at Apollo. You know, enjoy it. Have a beautiful Wednesday, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flags of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.